All right, they peruse, and today we're going to be reviewing Beard Vape Company's number 88. Ooh. Okay guys, this is uh, Beard Vape Company's number 88. Uh, what does the 88 mean? I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, I've got it in 3 milligrams, and I've got this free for review from vapeclub.co.uk, so uh, check those guys out. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the label. Uh, this is a 15 milliliter. I believe that's the only size you can get it in from vapeclub.co.uk. Uh, label's pretty attractive. There's some sort of lovely guy on there with glasses and a beard. Um, no tactile triangle on there or anything like that. Uh, one little warning on the side, nicotine may be harmful, do not ingest, keep away from children and this side <clears throat> may contain, and there's a list of things it may contain. But yeah, this is uh, again available at vapeclub.co.uk and it is £8.49 for uh, for 15 mil. So uh, <clears throat> before we judge the price, let's uh, let's see what it's like. Number 88. Uh, the website describes it as a mint chocolate cookie e-liquid. <sighs> now I know the chocolate's hard to get right. It's uh, a lot of them taste very synthetic. So uh, this is just going to be nice to try. Um, but let's 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 try and vape it. Let's not talk about the uh, description. Oh, that's another thing. This childproof cap is probably the best I've seen on an e-liquid. It just you really have to push it down to get it open. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's drip up this uh, mutation X. I got this on a 0.5 coil, running at 35 watts. Um, I believe I'm, I'm just going to stick to that for pretty much all the juice re reviews I do from now on. I'm just going to close off the air flow a little bit more. Let's give this a go. Let's see what it's like. I'm getting synthetic chocolate, but but it's the best synthetic chocolate I've tasted as in it's the closest to actually a chocolate flavour um, and wrapped around it almost is a very subtle mint but it gives you like a almost like a choc mint ice cream And it's actually really, really pleasant. And that mint stays with you. The chocolate sort of fades off in the mouth, but the mint stays with you. But again, it's not it's not a harsh mint. It's a very subtle mint. It's almost as if there's um like a cooling agent in there. Um, I might be wrong, but it just does taste uh, quite cool on the tongue. Perhaps I should have called it mint choc uh, ice cream. But they would have been, needed a bit more cooling agent. That is pleasant. Wouldn't say an all day vape for me. Um, a nice treat every now and then. Let's let's bump it up to 50 watts, which is going to be uh, five volts. A lot more flavour, a lot more flavour, but the same consistency. So the mint's still there, the chocolate's still there. That is a nice vape. It's slightly, slightly warmer, obviously, on the 50 watts. But 
still very very good. Let's let's bump it back down to thirty six. This is a really nice vape. Again, I wouldn't use it as an all day vape. It'd probably get a bit sickly, but for a treat every now and then, it's perfect. Obviously, um, if you're into your desserts and stuff, then you're gonna probably love this. Hmm, where's it made? Venice, I'm guessing that's California. That's nice. That is nice. That's good. So yeah, that's this. The chocolates there, the mints there, subtle mint. Um, not getting too much cookie, which is it's described as a mint chocolate cookie liquid. But I'm not getting too much cookie. It's more the chocolate. And it's it's a mild synthetic chocolate. You know some chocolates you get really, really strong. But this is this is just a mild one. It's nice, it's pleasant. And then the mint wrapped round it, and it is, it feels like it is wrapped round it and in it, not separate. Um and that's that's on four point two volts and on five volts. So I would say it's pretty stable. Um yeah, so you can get this at vapeclub.co.uk. Uh, and it's eight pound forty nine for fifteen mil. The average price in the UK for a sort of a liquid is about four pound fifty. So maybe, yeah, you know, if you're looking at the average price, it is uh, it's a little higher. But then I believe the quality of the liquid it's it's worth it. Um, and you get a cool funky bottle with a man with a beard on. What more can you ask for? Um, so anyway, that's it for me. Uh, toodles.